Good morning, YouTube. Uh, today, I wanted to discuss uh, AS Rocks Killer uh, X370 uh, SLI AC board. Um, this board, I used it for quite a bit of time in my own personal rig, and I had a lot of good luck with it. And honestly, it helped held up to to three uh, severe water leaks in my system because I didn't put on the fittings right or I was rushing. I'm going to tell you, I learned a lot with this board about the importance of making sure your liquid cooling fittings are correct. Now, I was running uh, the, the Ryzen 7 2700 uh, in this uh, slot um, it comes and, and a big reason why I bought it was it comes with AC Wi-Fi um, not only that but it has uh, a lot of USB 3.0 slots not only that but you can add more um, you can add more if you see next to the 24 pin connector there there's there's two um, spots where where you can add front uh panel usb uh 3.0 connectors uh it has the option to add six sata uh drives and then we have an ultra m.2 and a regular m.2 as well as the m.2 for the wi-fi uh, we got two uh, PCIe uh, 16 slots, and then we got four of the smaller PCIe slots. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Not only that, but this board also has uh, built in uh, into the BIOS um, settings for, for liquid cooling. And it also has a plug on the board right by the processor socket uh, that allows you to um, hook a water pump directly to the board and control it with the BIOS. Uh, the VRMs here, I had a water block on, but if you see this heat sink right here, uh, normally where my fingers are right here, uh, there would be another heat sink like this, but I had a lot of liquid cooling stuff going on. It was kind of ridiculous. It also has uh, four dim slots for DDR4. And, uh, you know, it's it's got its own audio too. And it's got a USB Type-C slot. It's got the old school uh, keyboard and mouse slots. It does have uh, onboard graphics, but you have to uh, have a processor that is compatible with onboard graphics. Uh, my processor, the 2700 Ryzen 7, did not have that built in. Now, uh, if I would have gone with the 2700X, uh, we would have been able to utilize that. Um, but overall, I'm going to tell you that this was a very well-built board. Uh, I used it for probably almost a whole year, and uh, I don't think I've liked the board more uh, that I've had yet. Besides, uh, you know, my Gigabyte Threadripper board back here, that X399. But uh, if you are looking for an affordable option that has built-in AC Wi-Fi, I highly recommend AS Rocks killer board um, I think you will be very very pleased with what you get for the hundred and twenty dollars not only that but you don't have to spend the extra money on a Wi-Fi card because it comes um, built in although for some reason I was reading on some of the threads about this board uh, people in Europe for some reason don't get the M.2 card. And I don't understand why they don't get that M.2 Wi-Fi card with the board. But I bought this one from Newegg. 
and it was like 120 bucks and i felt like i i couldn't have spent that 120 dollars better for what i got so if you're looking for a board killer not only that but i mean the aesthetics on it are really pleasing and if you put this uh you know with a white case i mean you just can't go wrong your your computer is just going to look amazing people are going to be like wow that's that's a really nice computer especially if you can match everything you know put some nice wires on your power supply you know this would match corsair stuff you know the white and black so i mean there's a lot of stuff that you can use that'll go right with this, this motherboard and, and will make a really nice system. So, uh, you know, AS Rock doesn't pay me to promote anything. Um, I just really like the product and, and I'm giving you my honest opinion. I don't know how much that matters to you, but like I said, I couldn't have been happier with that. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, or if you want to see me review something, put it down in the comment section, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and uh, we'll see you around.